Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. I am so excited to welcome a guest who has shattered the glass ceiling for those who are handicapable and who are performing arts with disabilities. Jerry Jewell, thank you for being with us today. Uh, thank you for having me, my um, pleasure. Amazing, so Jerry, take us back. You were on Facts of Life. When you found out you got the role, take us to that moment. Well, it was surreal, it was amazing. Um, Norman Leo discovered me and cast me on Facts of Life. Mm -hmm. And he met me in 1980. And he said, the first thing he said to me was, you're really funny, kid, but you're way before your time. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, so wait a couple months. <laughs> That's right. and, and he up. did. He did. He waited three months. And I was cast as Blair's cousin. Jerry. Wow. I think it's so meaningful that you were cast as Jerry, and now in HBO's Deadwood, you were cast as Jewel. I know. Mm -hmm. I need to let a producer know what my me what my middle name is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Tell us about Jewel and your experience on Deadwood. Well, you know, in 2002, well, in 1999, I had spinal cord surgery from C1 to C7. Wow. Practically my whole neck. And I honestly thought my career was over. And I had to go to this yucky, buppy pharmacy in Santa Monica for Botox because they inject three vials of Botox in my neck every three months for chronic pain. Wow. And it was very early in the morning. Like this morning, very early. <laughs> <laughs> and, I didn't think anybody would recognize me, and I was standing in line at the pharmacy to pick up the Botox. And this man turned around and he says, oh my God, are you Jerry Jewell? And I said, yeah. And he says, I love you. You've inspired me. You've made me laugh. But I haven't seen you on TV in a while. What are you doing with your life now? I said, Botox? <laughs> <laughs> he said, you want a television series? I said, what? I said, this is a pharmacy, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, yes, in case you don't recognize me, my name is David Milch. Oh. And he offered me the role on the spot. He had oh. just signed a contract with HBO to do Deadwood. And he wrote his phone number on a prescription pad for an antidepressant. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is so La La Land. Yeah. I've no. never heard it. So coming back. 13 years later I know. for the film. Wow. It's amazing. And I always knew intuitively that it was going to happen. It was just a matter of when. I mean, some people didn't think it would ever happen, but I knew it would. And again, I had spinal cord surgery in July, and I couldn't even walk. I mean, I couldn't stand more than two minutes. I couldn't walk more than a foot. And so I had spinal cord surgery, thinking that I would be all healed by the time Deadwood started. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't. And David Mills, you know, I called him and I said, look, I don't think I can do this. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm not healed yet. I just had surgery three months ago. And he said, there's only one jewel and it's you. Wow. Oh, wow. And I don't care if we have to have a wheelchair accessible trailer. We have to rewrite the script for things that you can do. You're going to do it. And oh my God, this man challenged me. <laughs> and I'm so glad he did because it was a phenomenal opportunity to bring Jewel back to life 10 years later. So let's wow. talk about the intuition. Well, a lot of the show here is about the power of mind and understanding that connection. Yep. And clearly, you are very, very connected. Oh, absolutely. To have your spirit and just, you're such an advanced spirit, in my opinion. And so tell us about what, what is intuition to you? How do you tap into that? I've always been that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. It, you know, I think the challenge is to be quiet inside and to center yourself. And my biggest challenge is to not second guess myself mm. Mm. because 
every time I second guess myself, I screw up. <laughs> <laughs> Go with the first message that you feel in your heart and soul, and it's usually right. You're guided. Jerry, can you tell us about your memoir, I'm Walking As Straight As I Can? That came out in 2011, and Deadwood had already ended in 2006, and I had time on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, yeah. so I thought, okay, I'll write a book. And I'm walking as straight as I can with the title with a double meaning, meaning I'm actually not walking that straight, and I am not that straight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I came out as being gay in 2011, mm. and, you know, it's about time. I mean, I came out with cerebral palsy in 1978. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny, huh? It is yeah. who I am. Yeah. Wow. We well, love who you are. Wow. Yes, and we appreciate you. Thank you for being with us today. Thank Such you. an inspiration. Thank oh, you so, so much. Yes. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more on Good Morning Wildland.